what are the keywords we use it in our daily lives it is vocabulary of english language but what does its meaning and use in a c language hi everybody welcome to today's session on keywords in a c language by edit so the keywords are preserved words that has a special meaning in a c language keywords are the reserved words that has a special meaning or predefined meaning which is already known to the compiler for example in our home we do have a washing machine and it could only be used for washing the clothes and could not be used for any other purpose for example cooking or etc since it is reserved for washing and drying clothes only the embedded system inside the uh, washing machines are reserved for uh, doing that function only right similarly in the c language we do have a keywords keywords in the c language are the reserved words that has a special meaning or predefined meaning keywords are nothing but these are the reserved words and its meaning is already known to the compiler this predefined meaning is described to the compiler so whenever we are trying to use those keywords in a C, uh, in our c program compiler will recognize this is the keyword or compiler will understand this is the keyword and its meaning is already known to it int float double can if while do these are the few examples of keywords in c language there are 32 keywords here those 32 keywords in a c language are divided in structured way so that you could easily remember and memorize it the first eight keywords are data types the first eight keywords out of those 32 keywords are data types the next element in a table are flow control are related to the flow control the next three are related to memory next three in the table are memory related keywords the next two are related to functions and out of last eight the first four are the storage classes and last four are user defined data types In this way, all those thirty-two keywords in a C language are divided here in a structured way so that you could memorize it easily. Next, we must keep in mind while using these keywords in a C language, or we could say that there are certain rules that we must follow while using those keywords in our C program. So the first rule says that. Keywords could not be used as an identifier name. First rule says that the keywords could not be used as an identifier name. So, what is an identifier? Identifier. Identifier are the keyword. These are the name given to the programming element. Name given to the programming element, such as name given to the variable function array structure and etc identifier are nothing but these are the name given to the programming element such as name given to the variable function array structure and etc so the first rule says that 
keywords could not be used as an identifier name. Alright, we could not use any of the keywords uh, among the study keywords as an uh, identifier name. For example, if is the keyword. If is the keyword. Alright. So we could not use if as an identifier name. Suppose if I write I am in if is equal to 20. Right. So, uh, I am declaring one variable of the, uh, type integer int and I am giving here, I am trying to give the name to this particular variable as an if. Right? This is the variable name. And I am assigning, I am trying to assign the value that if variable as in 26. So what will happen in this case? See, if is the keyword, if is the keyword, its meaning, it is reserved for conditional statements or the flow control, right? So compiler already knows its meaning, its meaning, uh, its meaning is predefined to the C compiler. And whenever we are trying to use it as a variable name like this, so what will happen? The compiler will throw the error because that here if we are trying to use the keyword as a variable name, that means we are trying to change its predefined meaning which is already known to the compiler, right? So the compiler will throw the error. Alright, so this we could not write like this. Compiler will throw error. So the keywords could not be used as an identifier name. Alright. The next rule says that the keywords are always written in small case letters. The second rule says that the keywords are always to be written in small case letters. The next rule says that the keywords are always to be written in small case letters. We could not use upper case letters to write the keyword. So if you will look at uh, this particular table, so these are the 32 keywords in a C language. All those keywords are written in a small case letters. Alright? So, whenever we are trying to use those any of the keywords, right, uh, among these 32 keywords in a C language in our C program, so we must write it in a small case letters. Suppose I want to declare one variable h of type integer, right? I am in h is equals to, I am giving here 20. 9. Right. So, here um, we, this is the correct way to declare the variable. Right. int because int here the int is a keyword. Right. Integer is a keyword. We have written it here in a small case letters. int we have written it here in a small case letter. So, this is the correct way to use the keywords in our C program. But what if I try to write it like this int h is equal to 29. So the compiler will not consider this is a keyword, right? This is not the keyword. Because keywords are always to be written in small case letter. So int like this is not a keyword if I try to write it like this, I N T, so this is also not a keyword. I N T, this is also not the keywords. Keywords are always to be written in small case letters. So the uh, here we have seen the keywords. So keywords are nothing but these are the reserved words. Its meaning is already known to the compiler. These are the predefined words in a C language. Its meaning is already described to the compiler. 
compiler already knows its meaning and these are the reserved words in a C language. Then we have seen um, like keywords could not be used as an identifier name. We could not use any of the keyword as a variable name, function name, array name, structure name and etc. Keywords must be written in small case letters. Keywords always to be write in a small case letters. There are 32 keywords in a C language. All has been written in a small case letters. So whenever we want to use those keywords in our C program, we must write it in a small case letter. Keywords are having some predefined meaning which is already known to the compiler or which is already described to the compiler and user could not change the meaning of those keywords. Alright, so we end up with today's session on keywords in a C language. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.